Hey guys, welcome to your next tutorial. Today we're going to be going over some more pointer stuff and how to allocate things on the heap without making a global variable. And also I want to start off by correcting something I showed you in the previous episode. Uh, I showed you that if you want to initialize a uh, pointer to be empty uh, so that you get a null access violation if you accidentally access it, I showed you to set it equal to null. Now this is pretty much correct. But as of C++09, there's a better way to do this. Now this null right here, it actually means zero. So if I type zero, that's the exact same thing. And this is an integer. Now for the most part, that's not going to cause a problem. This is going to be correct. But the thing is, there's a, a select few cases, uh, particularly with function overloading, where this can cause a bug that can kind of be a headache to notice. So instead of setting it equal to null, we just set it equal to null PTR. This is a new keyword that only exists in, I believe, C++09 and definitely C++11. So just uh, go ahead and do it this way because this is the more modern way to do it. Anyways, let's start off with allocating things on the heap. So now you remember, if I type int a right here, this a is going to get allocated on the stack. So whenever int main ends, a is going to go away. And if we try to make a to be a really, really big array of integers or something like that, we're going to get a stack overflow because this is too much memory for the stack. So what if we want to allocate it on the heap instead, where it won't go away whenever main ends and where it can be pretty much as big as we want? Well, to do that, we use the new keyword and we have to use a pointer. So here's an integer my pointer. Right now it equals null pointer. We can use this pointer to allocate some new memory. So let me pull up my little paint program here. And let's clear out some space. I was not prepared for this. And zoom in. All right, that'll work. Ignore this. So let's go ahead and draw the heap. Now what's going to happen is, right now, here's the heap, and then this red box is the stack. Okay, here's our main stack frame. Remember, they are separate uh, little parts of memory. So in main, whenever we create int my pointer, it's a pointer that's going to get allocated on the stack. So we're going to type int star my pointer. And it's going to be set equal to null at the start. Well, null pointer. i got to get out of that habit. Null pointer. So this is our pointer. It's on the stack. So it's going to disappear when main disappears. But what we can do is allocate some memory on the heap uh, right over here. For instance, we can allocate 10,000 integers. So we could say int uh, 10,000 like this. It's not going to have a specific name. It's not going to have a variable name. We can allocate this over here and then store the address of this heap variable in my pointer. So instead of being a null pointer, it's going to store the memory address of this variable that has no name. It's just a block of, of memory, a block of integers. We're going to store the address of that in this variable, and then we can access it because we can, we can dereference my pointer. So to do that, we use the new operator. We say my pointer equals new, and then we're going to say int 10,000. So this is going to make it an array of 10,000 integers. Now my pointer is still just a pointer. It's still just a probably a four byte address and it's storing the memory address of a new heap variable that's getting allocated uh, right here on our heap somewhere. Now what's going to happen is whenever uh, our main function quits, I keep opening up the wrong stuff by reflex. Whenever our main function quits, what's going to happen is this my pointer is going to disappear, right? And it's, it doesn't have to be the main function. It could have been any function that created a pointer. It's going to disappear, and that's going to break this link. So now, since this variable doesn't have a name and we have no pointers pointing to it, it's gone. We don't know where it is. This is called a memory leak. So what happens is when you do that, when you delete all the pointers to it, this is never going to get deleted. This memory is now allocated to your program, but you're not using it. So whenever your program ends, this will go away. But until your program ends, this is just going to be consuming resources. So you want to make sure that you delete, you, you free this memory. You make this memory get returned to the operating system. You want to make sure you do that before you lose your pointer, before you lose your int star. So what we do to, to delete the memory is we just type delete and then my pointer, like that. And then it's, it's even when we call delete my pointer, my pointer still has the address. So we can just get rid of, uh, we can set it back to null pointer when we're done because we no longer need the address because the address is now pointing to invalid memory. Whenever we call delete, that deallocates the memory so some other, I keep 
doing that. Some other program can use it, right? We don't want to be constantly holding on to this 10,000 integers. Maybe another game wants to use it. So whenever we call delete, this doesn't belong to us anymore. So if our pointer is still pointing to that spot, then that can cause issues. So if we just set it back equal to null pointer, uh, then we're not going to have that issue. So this creates it, this deletes it. You always need to remember to call delete on your pointers when you're done. If you don't, you get a memory leak. And I've actually showed you wrong. When you want to delete an array, you don't just call delete, you call delete, and then with the little array uh, uh, things here, the little brackets. It's delete with brackets. This is different than what you do for a regular uh, integer, for instance. If we make another integer star, my pointer two equals null pointer. And if we set this one equal to just new int, like that, this is not an array. So whenever we delete my pointer two, I've got a semicolon, whenever we delete that, we just type delete my pointer two. We don't have to do the little square brackets thingy. If you forget to use these square brackets, you're probably not gonna get a bug. Your compiler's probably not gonna tell you, it might tell you, um, but it, it just probably isn't going to function correctly. Uh, so always try to remember to use this operator for arrays. And let's see, that's pretty much it for allocating on the heap. We can do this with anything. We can do it with classes. So if we had like a player class, we could have a pointer to a player and then say uh, my pointer two equals new player. We could do something like that. We could do it with strings. We can do it with anything. That's just when we want to allocate any kind of variable or string or class on the heap. And we can have multiple pointers that point to it. So for instance, if we have uh, my pointer equals null pointer, and let's just set it equal to an int like that. Let's make another pointer, int star my pointer two equals null pointer, and let's set it equal to uh, my pointer. So my pointer two equals my pointer. Now what that's going to do is take the memory address of this new int right here. So let's go ahead and open up, uh, open up paint like this and draw all my boxes. There we go. All right. So we have int star my pointer down there and int star my pointer two, two equals null pointer. I don't know why I'm typing equals null pointer. That's about to change. So we have these two pointers. Now, whenever we call new with my pointer one or, or my pointer nothing, this is going to create a new variable up here. It's just gonna be an integer. So this is going to point to it like that. And then when we set my pointer two equal to my pointer, what that's gonna do is take the address that my pointer is storing and put it in my pointer two. So now they're both gonna be pointing to the same integer. So now if we dereference these and change things, both of them are going to see the changes. So let's undo that and I spelled this wrong, it's my pointer. So first let's start by setting star my pointer. Remember the value pointed to by my pointer, this is the dereference operator. Let's set that equal to five. And then we'll see out uh, star my pointer and l and then let's set the address or let's set the value pointed to by my pointer 2 to 10 and then let's see out just my pointer again now remember these are both pointing to the exact same value so even though we changed a different pointer's value since they're both pointing to the same uh, memory address, they're both going to see the changes. So if I print out my pointer two times, we should get two different values. We should get five and then 10. And then since we're using a single variable, we don't want to have the square brackets down there. I should have zoomed in. I hope y'all can see this. So I got build errors. Where did I get build errors? Shop.h. Oh, I have a bunch of, uh, that's right. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I was looking at someone else's code, so I had some extra files in my solution. So now those are gone. Now we can run it. And when we run this, we're actually going to get an issue. We get a crash. And the reason we get a crash is because we're calling delete two times. Now we have two pointers that are pointing to the same thing. The first time we delete it, that's going to come up here and get rid of this integer right here. It's going to deallocate it. And then we're going to call delete again right here. And we try to delete something that doesn't even exist and we're getting an, an error. So remember, anytime you have new, you should have one matching delete. If you have two deletes on one new, that's wrong. So we want to get rid of one of these, either one of them. So we'll get rid of delete my pointer two. And now when we run it, it should behave like we want. And yes, it does. If we zoom in here, you will see we get a five and then a 10 because both of their uh, initial values are this, or the, both of their uh, pointed values are the same. 
So before we end this episode, let me uh, elaborate a little bit more about what the difference between a reference parameter and a non-reference or and a pointer is. So let's say void by reference, and this is going to be an int ampersand a, and it doesn't even need to do anything. We'll just say a plus equals five. So this is by reference. Remember, if we pass in a variable, it's going to change the original copy, and then void by reference pointer. Because whenever you pass a pointer, you are passing a reference. So it is technically uh, passing by reference, but instead of using a reference parameter, you're using a pointer. So we could say int star a, and then we could say star a plus equals 5, like that. Both of these are going to work uh, pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is that with an int star, we could do something like pass in a null pointer. So we could call, uh, let's get rid of these... Let's say my pointer 2 is still equal to null pointer. So my pointer 1 works, my pointer 2 is uh, pointed, pointing to nothing. So if we call by reference per pointer like this, and we pass my pointer 2, we're actually passing a null pointer. So whenever we do this right here, this star a plus equals 5, we're going to try to access null. We're going to try to access something that doesn't exist, so we're going to get a null access violation. It's going to crash our program. However, with by reference, we can't pass a null pointer. Whenever you're passing a reference, it has to be a variable. You can't pass a pointer. If I try to say by reference and pass my pointer to, it's going to give me an error because it needs a reference to an integer. So if we type star my pointer to, that is going to work so don't do that this is bad i wouldn't do this it's probably going to crash your program um yeah whenever you're doing by reference don't ever use a pointer um unless you really know what you're doing instead you should be using like a local variable or something or some kind of global variable when you're doing by reference in general the safer way to do this is to use by reference you only need to do by reference with a pointer if you want to have it uh, be heap allocated whenever you're just doing things with local variables uh, it's safer to have all of your uh, functions be um, uh, pass by reference, but honestly, I do pass by pointers all the time too. Uh, it, it's just kind of whatever your preference is. When in doubt, go with a reference first. If a reference isn't going to work, go with a pointer uh, to change the initial value. So that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, we went into a lot of stuff today. If you're confused, just uh, do a comment in the comment section and I will uh, clear it up for you. Thanks, guys.